Alright, good evening to everyone out there. It, today is December the 14th, 2010, a Tuesday. Currently 8.39 p.m. Eastern Time. Right now you're looking at the radar. I'm going to try to make this video quick. Um, I'm Justin Tomlin, if you don't know me. Uh, I live in Statesville, North Carolina. That's right above Charlotte, for those of y'all who don't know where that is. Um, but you're looking at the radar right now, and today I'm going to focus mainly on tomorrow... Thursday storm and Saturday storm and see what they might have in store for us. Uh, this little blue area, this light snow over western, southwestern Tennessee and north east, northwestern uh, Alabama, that is our storm system coming in for Thursday. Um, might not look like much. Precip amounts are going to be light with this. Um, but more moisture will be in here by tomorrow morning when I cut the other video tomorrow morning. Very early. I'll be waking up at 3.45 tomorrow morning due to having to be at school way earlier than normal. Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's go into the modeling. Alright. Hopefully it'll work for me today. Alright, let me zoom out for you. It'll let me. Okay. Alright. Come on. Tried to split the modeling up onto two different pages to maybe help it go a little faster, but I don't know if it's going to help any. Um, here's out to 36 hours. This should be good enough. 7 p.m. This is the 12Z run of the GFS. These are conditionals. Um, got some light snow moving into the area by 1 a.m. Uh, nothing at 7 a.m. and then you can't see 64 and, or 54 and 60 for some reason, which are the most important hours. But we can just take a look at this. The um, just the regular um, precip map and you can see it's pretty dry okay uh, let's see here let's take you to the snowfall map and it's got you know an inch around here with heavier amounts north and east of us and I, I can't remember if I put that in the video yeah I put that in the video this morning or my accumulation map and you know had Raleigh I'm pretty sure I had Raleigh in it, but anyways, two to three inches included into an area north and east of us. Um, that could play out. We'll have to see. Um, here is the 18Z run of the GFS. Got some snow showing up by 7 a or 1 a.m. and then over the upstate of North Carolina, South Carolina, even, and then some ice moving in by 7 a.m. All right, and then we're done by 1 p.m. It's gonna be a fast-moving, light precip system. Okay, here is the 18Z run of the G, uh, 18Z run of the NAM, excuse me, um, laying down just a little bit of snow over us, and then here is the, let's see what this is, no gaps model, and I, I think no gaps, this is the one, no, okay, it's working now, or this is the European, excuse me. All right, lighter precip amounts, heavier as you go further north. And some places like Cincinnati and Roanoke, anywhere from the line from Chicago, well, not Chicago, but Cincinnati to Roanoke, somewhere in there could see good about, a good amount of snow, four to seven inches or so. Um, here is the no gaps. Doesn't show much in the way of precip for us at all, actually. Um, and actually, I think one of the runs of the no gaps had us completely dry. It might even be in that one. Um, but here's the system on the Japanese. You can see the little low pressure system right there. Not much. Um, here is the SREF. This is the conditional um, snow, probability of snow. And not too much. But as you go down to freezing rain, my models aren't switching as like as I. As, much as I'd, or as fast as I'd like them to. But there we go. Alright, some, some chance of freezing rain. I think that will be the main precip type other than rain. Well, the rain will be the main precip type, but freezing rain will be the main wintry type of precip. Um, I haven't, I didn't draw up an accumulation map tonight. Uh, Alright, maybe the computer will run a little bit faster now. Um, my thoughts for Thursday system. Um, I'll try to draw up an accumulation map for sure tomorrow morning, um, bright and early at 3.30, um, and see what I can't get out then. Um, 
Uh, I think mainly for Statesville, maybe a light dusting of snow before it switches over to rain, or freezing rain, excuse me, have a little trace, could make for slippery road conditions Thursday morning before it transitions over to primarily rain by 10 or so in the morning. School delays, I know a lot of people are wondering about this. I think that, I'm not speaking for ISS proper, I'm speaking in general vicinity of Iredell County. I do think there will be some delays. Not so sure about closures yet. We'll see what tomorrow morning has in store. Um, but I do think we will see some delays and possibly some closures. Will ISS be on a delay? My forecast as of now would say that my forecast as of now, judging off of models right now, this instant, would say yes, there will be a delay. Yes, I did just say that. Um, don't hold me to that just yet. Let me make the final call in the morning whether we're going to see it or not, okay? And things can always change, but I think we will see a delay. Closure, I doubt it. Um, we'll have to see because buses will leave at 8.45 compared to 6.45, and by 8.45 there still might be some icy spots on the road, so we'll have to watch it, but we didn't delay Monday or today, which I think is ridiculous in a way, because I know I, there's roads out here in West Idaho that are still icy to drive on. Okay. Off my soapbox there. Okay. Here, let's show you Saturday's system. Saturday's system looks impressive. Okay. It's only Tuesday. Things will change. Today's model trends have been trending towards the snowy side. I'll tell you why and why I don't agree with some of these models. Okay. Here is the GFS 12Z run. Okay. Here we are. Here's the conditions. Alright? Snow, rain, or freezing rain, or ice pellets. Okay. Let's take you back to 108. Alright? Let's take you back to 102, actually. Alright. Let's take you back to 96. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> 1 p.m. Saturday. System moving in. And let me tell you, GFS is the most impressive model um, as far as snowfall and everything. 1 p.m. Saturday. Still rain in the area. By 7 p.m. Saturday, we transition over to over to heavy snow here in North Carolina Statesville area. All right, the snow band continues to move west, transitioning or east. Dang it, it always okay. It's moving east, and the rain starts to transition over to snow. By Sunday 1 a.m., we still got snow around. Snow does not leave us until around 1 p.m. on Sunday. Okay, and then there's still snow for the outer banks and places like that. Okay. Here is the actual model data that it prints out. Let's see. That it prints out four or five inches of snow for us. Um, there's some light snow, there's some heavier snow, and there's rain, which shows up as snow on the conditional. So maybe that's fallen in some snow because the zero Z line is right above the mountains. Um, so that could be snow for us. Uh, here is the 18Z run. Um, I don't know if I have conditionals for the 18Z run. I might just have snow cover. No, I do. Okay. Uh, by 7 p.m. Saturday, showing the snow starting to switch over. Um, 108, showing some lighter precip, and it shows it out of here pretty much by 1 p.m. again. Uh, lighter snow in the morning. Here we go. All right. Here is the European model. Okay. This model keeps the storm mainly off the coast with just a little bit of light snow for here, us here in States. All right, just a little bit of light snow. I'll show you why I don't really agree with that model and why I do agree with that model. I know I'm confusing you right now, but you'll, you'll see here in a minute. Here's the no gaps, showing some snow all the way down into northern Georgia at the coast. Um, by 7 a.m. Sunday. We'll see how that plays out. Here's the, um, was that, what did I just show you? Was it the Canadian? No, that was no gaps. I guess I might not have put a Canadian on here. My mistake. Um, but here is Sunday, 7 a.m. on the Japanese. Here is Saturday. You got the low pressure off the coast. All right. It's not too terribly strong. And then high pressure off to the east building in Sunday. It's going to get cold again next week. I've been saying this for a while, but not near as cold as it was, you know. And it'll be like 40s for highs, not 20s for highs like we've been seeing today and yesterday. Um, here's the UK Met. Okay, first off, let me tell you why I don't agree, or let me tell you why I do kind of agree with the system going out to sea. Uh, I, I didn't really show you too many models that had that solution. 
um, other than the European taking it out, and the No Gaps kind of took it out. Um, but anyways, NAO. We got the NAO, negative NAO. So that's going to cause blocking and cause the system to come further south. Here's the PNA. We want this positive. It's not positive. So we don't have that huge trough in the western part of the country to send a storm far to the south and go straight up the east coast. We'll still see snow, I think, um, even if the system doesn't go straight up the coast. It might be, it'll be considerably lighter, but here's why the PNA doesn't really have that much effect. Okay, what I'm showing you here, stick with me for, through these graphics. I know I've probably never shown you these before. These are the 500 millibar heights, okay? This is on the Canadian model at 12Z, okay? Here's the system, all right, out at 108, 7 p.m. Saturday systems off the coast. You see this? This is a negative trend, or ne not negative trend, negative tilt, okay? A negative tilt kind of tells me that this system's not going to go out to sea like the Canadian is actually printing now. It's still got that negative tilt, not as strong as, say, the GFS, but it's got, it's, it's quite evident, okay? That tells me that this system's going to stay kind of close to the coast, all right? We'll see what plays out with that. Here is the latest run of the GFS. Same thing. And this one shows a really negative tilt by the time Sunday 7 a.m. Ro rolls around. You see this tilt? You see this negative tilt right here? That shows the system. That tells me the system's going to stay along the coast. And which the GFS shows that. Here is the European. Same thing. Negative tilt. So I think the system has a better chance of hugging the coast than it does to take it out to sea. We've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We've got three or four days we left with this system. We'll have a definite better grip on it by Thursday evening after we get this next system out of the way. Also, um, here's the UK mat, and you see this negative tilt, tilt, negative tilt, and then there's the low pressure system. UK mat is also agreeing with the GFS. The Europeans starting to come, try to come in line, and the Canadians still kind of lost. Um, no gaps is kind of taking it out to see. We'll see which solution verifies. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'll keep you up to date. New video tomorrow. And that's about it. Let me tell you my forecast for now. Um, Thursday, just a glaze of ice, a dusting of snow or so, um, and then transitions over to rain by 10 a.m. or so. Uh, Saturday storm. If the in coast solution verifies, we could get six inches of snow. Uh, this is my prediction as of now going with different model solutions. If the off the coast, we see maybe an inch or so. We'll have to keep you up to date, and that I will do. Just keep checking in at the blog, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching.